Hello, this is the math lesson for Monday, May 11th, and we're on page um, 500, sorry, 705 and 706. We're on lesson 29, and this is called Understanding Partitioning Shapes into Halves, Thirds, and Fourths. So on this uh, first page, 705 and 706, it's showing you kind of some information about um, what halves, thirds, and fourths are. And it has some pictures there and a little activity. So check that out before you start the lesson, just to kind of get like a little review and some information about that. Now, if we turn to page 707, um, it says explore partitioning shapes into halves, thirds, and fourths. So before we do the lesson, um, let's look at this, this uh, thing I made. So we need to understand that the word halves means to cut something in half, you're going to get two pieces. Now the thing about these is that the pieces need to be the same size. So and I tried the best I could with my drawings to show the partitions to be the same size. So this is halves, which we have two pieces. This one is thirds, where you're going to have three pieces. And this one is fourths, where you'll have four pieces. Now I'm going to change the way that I drew the, draw the lines on here so that you can see some examples that are not the same size pieces. So let me just erase the first line so I can show you some of the second, the second lines that are not going to be equal halves. So if I, let's see here. Here I am, coloring some pictures. Let's see here. All right, so now these are bad examples because this is not true. This is showing halves if I have two pieces. So if I cut out two pieces, that is not half of the entire shape. So even though you have two pieces, that's not half. If I was to cut out two pieces here, that is not half. So think of food. Think of like a pan of brownies or a cake that might be this shape. Think of pizza or a cookie or a pie that's this shape. If you're going to cut it in half and share it with somebody, you want equal pieces. Nobody wants to share the cake and only get that much when the other person's going to get a giant amount. So make sure that when you are talking about halves, you're talking about equal pieces like my first picture. Here's some examples, bad examples of thirds, because here I have one, two, three pieces, but they're not the same size. So that's not gonna work. Here's three pieces, one, two, three. They're not the same size, that's not going to work. Same thing for the rectangles, um, for the fourths and for the, um, the circle. So I may have four pieces, but they're not the same size. So these are not the proper shapes. So all of these are drawn wrong. Um, you want to make sure that you have equal sizes when we're talking about halves, thirds, and fourths. Okay, so if you're looking at page 707, it says shade one-fourth of this square. So there's a square and they've drawn the shapes for you. So you're going to color one-fourth of that square. For number two, it says shade one-fourth of this square. So they've divided the square differently and you can also shade those. And if you look on page 708, um, also looking at shading one half of the square and one third of the square. So go ahead and work on that. Um, we'll pause the video before we continue. All right, so hopefully you've done that successfully. If you turn to page 709, this is, uh, says number one, think about what you know about equal parts. Fill in each box, use words, numbers, and pictures. Show as many ideas as you can. So if you wanted to draw some examples like I did, some proper examples showing halves, thirds, and fourths, uh, you could put some of those in the boxes. Um, again, think about food. It's really easy to think about pizza and like cake so that you can think about the equal shapes. So go ahead and fill that out. And then just for a little bit of practice at the end of this lesson on page 710, is more shading. Now when it says shade, that means color. 
So you can use a pencil, colored pencil, marker, um, well maybe not marker because it'll go through the page, but um, just basically color. So go ahead and finish that and then you're done for today. Thank you. Bye.